Hang on tight, because on this episode, we're headed to a country that has 157 golf courses to choose from. And we looked at every one of those golf courses to bring you the top five golf courses in Austria. So before we do, take a look at our channel. We're hitting all these public golf courses across the country and in each state. And we're just doing everything golf related. So let's zoom on in now to our list of the top five golf courses, starting off with number five. And the list really starts off with a tremendous one. Google Maps does not lie. And this course right here is just an absolute gem. It's a par 72 that was built in 1996 as a massive clubhouse and the course was all put together in 1997. Well, there's just a lot to like here because it stretches a 7,900, 7,098 yards from those back tees. There's water throughout the course and there's just a remarkable course with a, with a massive slope of 137 and a rating of 75 it's got bent grass greens and bent grass fairways it's listed as open year-round and the course was built and designed by doug carrick in 1997 and then had some major updates to the course in 19 2018 it looks like it's hosted a couple opens for the country uh, these types of courses, there's no line. That's probably the best course out there in the area. So you can't deny that this course is going to get played. It's well known. And it starts us off with an incredible golf course to move us in to potentially better golf courses. Or you be the judge. This is an opinionated list. And we're going to be constantly updating it periodically. So let's zoom in now to number four on this list of top golf courses and here we are looking at a par 73 the course was built in 1990 it's listed as open year-round it was designed by kurt russ hinhoff and someone named van george well this course another one that packs a punch you know you can't go wrong it's 6484 meters it's listed as and has a slope of 133 some challenging shots there look at that that's pretty tight off the tee looks like even a floating uh fairway of some type on that picture well the course has a rating of 74.6 and a slope of that 133 now it's hosted a couple other championship events within this country but for the most part, a lot of hackers out there, as you can see right here from this guy. These are the type of courses that start to put the list together. You start to make the judgment if this list is getting better or worse. And that last golf course is a gem, but this one has a little bit of character, a little bit of history. And most importantly, a lot of pictures throughout the course to kind of tell you where to put it. It's a lot of water on this course as well. And we're going to be constantly moving now into number three. There's three more golf courses out of 157. We looked at the public. We looked at the private to bring you the top five. So let's zoom on out because we still got some golf to be played. And number three is a gem. It's another great golf course. Could it arguably even be better than number two. But let's not jump ahead and let's zoom in to number three. Course is a par 72 built in 1986. Its golf season is from March to October, and the course stretches 6,248 meters. It also has a slope of 131 and some of the most picturesque backdrops on a golf course that I've ever seen. Probably going to want to put it a little bit higher as we make updates to this list. It's got a golf school academy, a pro, and that might be him right there. Driving range, pull carts, regular carts, and just everything you really need. Not sure who actually built this course. If you played it, let us know. We're not going to spend too much time because the backdrops and the pictures of this course is really so we're going to probably check in at some point have some fun not anytime soon probably as old as these people so let's take a look now at the two golf courses left on this list I, I, we're flying through the list and we still got some great golf they maybe even we missed so let us know in the comment section we'll go to the north side where you can't see much but a golf course here and there's not much to go wrong course stretches as a par 70 
and it's 5,770 meters. It has a slope of 128 and a rating of 70.4. Of course, it does have a little bit of history. It was built in 1972. It's more of a parkland style course, but it's got to be a lot of winds whipping through there, you would suspect. The golf season's from March to October. It was built by Donald Heron and, and Carl. And it looks like it might be about 40 euros to play the course. That's that's a good one. Well, there's one course left. If you made it this far, just fast forward. Go back. Some of the other golf courses that you missed are probably better. But we got better footage of this one. And it's been listed as the number one golf course year in, year out. So let's take a look at number one here. And it's just, just sitting there in the mountains, as you can see. And we'll have to give it to the championship at this location and and here's why because it hosted numerous events uh, championship events throughout the country it stretches 5,919 meters with a slope of 136 and a rating of 73 well the course was built in 1995 and the golf season goes from April to November it was built by golf designer Jeff Hollers. And it's about another $40, maybe a little bit over that, but uh, it's got golf course, golf club rentals, pull carts, driving range, golf school academy, and all the other amenities to really get you started. But most importantly, it's just an absolute picturesque golf course here. If you fast forward it, some of the other golf courses are a little bit better, but this one is our number one golf course. It looks extremely challenging, very windy throughout those mountains. And it's just something that, whoa, who put a golf course here? And you could see, and you just see maintenance people out there because you have to have continuous maintenance on a course that's this well kept. If you made it this far or you don't believe in this list and you want to make changes to it, let us know in the comment section below. Or if we've hit a country that we haven't done a video on, let us know. We're going to constantly make updates and we're going to be pushing out more content for top golf courses. Everything golf related, everything golf architect related is going to be on this channel. It's not going to be a joke to be missed, but most importantly, this country has proven that we're going to have to go back and try to hit some other countries throughout the area. And there's a ton of other golf in the world that we haven't even looked at. And that's why it's so important that we're doing that on this channel because not other channels will. And we're trying to beat the major channels to it because eventually we're all going to come together in one world, one golf course. This is World Twilight Golfer. If you're not watching, make sure you're playing. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. Keep on swinging. Go, fly. Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.